Hi, I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Welcome to the quick tip video, airbag control modules, stored energy. We're gonna talk about the potential for airbag control modules or brain to store energy for airbag deployment after 12 volt shutdown. So it's been taught for years that there's a potential after we, of course, disconnect the 12 volt battery and turn off the ignition, that there's a potential for airbag deployment. We were taught this through instruction and through emergency response guides. We'll even list, in some cases, extended periods of time where these capacitors and the control module may hold a charge. The reason that that's taught in ERGs and in classrooms is mostly for liability reasons. The truth of the matter is, is that airbag control module capacitors dump their energy almost immediately after 12 volt shutdown. The longest time period that's ever been programmed to hold a charge is in early 90s model Volvos, and that's only a few seconds. So airbag control modules capacitors are designed to dump their energy instantaneously. As soon as airbag deployment takes place, ignition shutdown takes place, or we manually disconnect the 12 volt battery. So here's how it works. When we disconnect a battery, we remove 12 volt power in any way from the vehicle. The capacitors in the airbag control module dump their energy into a thermal plate. They do this in the form of heat. So if we were to cycle the ignition, turn the ignition on and off repeatedly, in most cases it would take nearly 30 cycles of turning it on and off. Of that capacitor, of course, every time you turn off the ignition, that energy would be dumped into the thermal plate again in the form of heat. After 30 cycles or so, that thermal plate would become so hot that the thermal switch on the plate would tell the capacitors that they can no longer receive a charge. In those cases, capacitors in the worst heat environments may hold a charge for several minutes. So for rescuers, this isn't a concern. Manufacturers include it in ERGs for, again, liability reasons and because it's not uncommon in a service environment for a technician to cycle an ignition on and off and on and off while testing a circuit or some other component in the vehicle. But again, for rescuers, it's not a concern. When we've shut down the ignition to the vehicle and we have confirmed that we have complete 12 volt disconnection of the vehicle, the airbag control module is no longer holding a charge and the vehicle is safe for our operations in regards to airbag deployment. Now we still need to expose any area of the vehicle that we're going to cut or crush because we have the hazard of stored gas inflators and high voltage components. I hope this quick tip video was helpful for you. Look for our quick tip videos every Tuesday on advancedextrication.com. I'm Brock Archer. Take care. Be safe.